Then me and the boy are walking on the porch of the house. I am talking to one of my aunts on the phone when me and the boy see a spacecraft in the sky. It looked like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. At first, they looked like they were leaving, but then their engines became super loud. Me and the boy were in a state of shock. I tell my aunt on the phone, "Don't do you not hear them? Hello, Cloud9 family, and welcome back. I'm so happy that you clicked on this video today to join me for another powerful week of end time dreams and visions that have been emailed into the channel. There have been some truly powerful experiences that are being shared right now because we are indeed in the end times and Acts 217 is being fulfilled right before our very eyes. In this video today, I am going to be sharing with you an end time dream that was given to our brother in Christ angel, and he wanted to share this experience with all of you. So brothers and sisters, let's now take a look. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've come to share a dream that the Lord Jesus Christ has given me. I got this dream on May 2nd, 2024. The Holy Spirit told me that this dream is after the rapture. And he also said Ezekiel 38 correlates to this dream. Okay, so it starts off like any other night in my house. But on this night, we had guests over. I went to the kitchen and started talking with the young boy that happened to be of Middle Eastern descent. We began cooking food and conversating. Then I began asking him about God. I told him, I don't know what God your family instructed you to pray to, but just ask God to reveal himself and he will. The boy answers hesitantly. In my heart, I'm a Christian, but I had a sense that his family was not by the way he answered me. Then me and the boy are walking on the porch of the house. I am talking to one of my aunts on the phone when me and the boy see a spacecraft in the sky. It looked like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. At first, they looked like they were leaving, but then their engines became super loud. Me and the boy were in a state of shock. I tell my aunt on the phone, don't, do you not hear them? Then they turn around and start dropping barrels over the whole city. But these barrels had some kind of chemicals of an unknown origin to man. They exploded and caused massive damage to the city. While I was running, I see a tree covered in the chemical and the tree turns black like scorched. The best way I can describe it is like when lava scorches the earth after erupting. At this point I say to myself, oh shoot, I'm going to lose my life here. So I continue to run to the front yard, but the scene changes. I am in a strip mall with apartments on top. Chaos, fire, and looting is everywhere. I start thinking to myself, we need a firearm. I told my family we needed a firearm. I said to myself, that's when I began looting as well. That's when I woke up from the dream, very anxious and very intense. To be honest, I thought I was living living it and uh, I just I just ask you guys to test the spirits on this ask Lord Jesus Christ for revelation on it um, but that's my dream all I can say is wow brother that was truly intense 
and terrifying as well. But it is great that you wanted to get this warning dream out so that people can be aware of what is to come because this deception is coming so very soon. And I will tell you, your experience is literally the second video that I have recorded this week where they are talking about the deception, seeing alien ships. And I truly believe that that is going to happen when they have to explain away why thousands of people have suddenly gone missing. And when you had talked about seeing this alien ship appear when you were on the porch with the young boy, and I know you had mentioned about being on the phone with your aunt, seeing this huge mothership appear in the sky, that was definitely a sign right there that that is coming so very soon. And you had even asked your aunt on the phone, please tell me you can hear this. You know, you asked her if she heard this noise because you said it was so loud when you were talking with your aunt. And then you had mentioned, which was really interesting, that this ship had taken off and that they began dropping these barrels and that these barrels had some sort of toxin in them. I could definitely see that happening as well during that time because it is just going to be a completely terrifying time. A lot of people are going to perish due to the circumstances and evil. The evil that is going to be happening during that time is going to be the worst that the world has ever seen. It is going to become so rampant all around the world. It's going to be such a scary time for people, especially those that do not know what this all means because people first off are going to be so confused that the rapture had just happened they're going to be so stuck on that why their kids are gone mothers fathers sisters and brothers and then all of a sudden they see this uh you know ufo or these sightings that all of a sudden start popping up a lot of us have grown up seeing movies about aliens and about ufos and, and cartoons that has been so broadly accepted throughout the world so i could definitely see this happening brother i definitely believe you when you talk about this and you know it is going to be something that will be happening probably quicker than what most people think and then you had also you know mentioned about ezekiel 38 it was so amazing how you said that the holy spirit had told you that this would happen after the rapture and that it correlates with Ezekiel 38. So I could definitely see that as well, brothers and sisters. And as always, if you have any questions, take it to the Lord. He is the one that you could definitely take this experience to and ask him to clarify any questions that you may have. Also, go into the Bible and read what the Lord says, what the Bible says about what is to come. And you will definitely see a lot of that answered in the book of Daniel as well as in the book of Revelation. There's so many key facts and things that were given to us because it is the blueprint that the Lord gave us. And praise God for that, because if we had not known what was going to happen and that this was all going to happen as the way it is right now, lining up till that point, we would definitely not understand. And as you get closer and closer to the Lord, things will start being revealed to you. And you'll start having that, you know, wanting to read the Bible and to seek the Lord and have a better understanding as to what is going to happen. So again, brother, thank you so much for being brave, wanting to share this experience with all of us. It was definitely intense, but it's a great warning that should be shared. I also want to thank you all channel family for liking the videos, for watching them, for also hitting the like button, or hitting the notification bell so that you are constantly notified when new content is added to this channel weekly. Please type in the comments box, Jesus saves, and he is coming so very soon channel family. So until next time, brothers and sisters, may God bless you all and have a very blessed week.